your microphone on? Um, maybe. Testing. One, two. Me thinking to myself, is Jeremy going to make another song reference? <laughs> oh, wait. He does that every time. <laughs> no, I actually don't do it every time. I don't think I did it on the last podcast. I'm pretty sure. No, maybe. Testing if Jeremy's going to do it on this podcast. Well, oh. you know, lately it occurs to me, what a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> That's a song reference, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't think we do it in the testing phase. We have done it once, yeah. up, one other time in the testing yeah, phase. Yeah, we have. All right, so I'm going to hand over the sound engineer headphones to the smallest of sound engineers in this house. Noah. Yes, and he's going to be our sound engineer today. And special effects. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I got him in that time. <laughs> All right. Here's your headphone sound engineer. Here's my non-fitting headphones. Well, scrunch them up. They're adjustable. Right. He, he's got uh, the sound canceling headphones on, correct? Mm-hmm. So that means if we shut off our mics, he can't hear us. It's not that great. Oh. <laughs> And I have the sniffles and congestion, so I apologize for any sniffles and congestion that hopefully I can edit out. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, it's not done. Uh, please don't. <laughs> you disturbed Spudley. He was like, wait, what? <laughs> what was that? Was that a puppy? Oh my god, this is a spike. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so how do we start this thing again? Uh Welcome, Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. We gotta try that again. Right. We're out of practice. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. Here with Noah. D and Jeremy. I'm I'm D. I'm, I'm, I'm Jeremy, and that that's Spudley. Yep. Cashmere's <laughs> oh, in the room too. He just doesn't want to bark today. Cashmere's the quiet one. Yeah. Let, let's not clap because yeah. he's gonna go off again. It's okay, puppy. It's all good. We doing podcasting. You can't lick me, and I can't kick him out because. Yeah, we're gonna get into we're gonna get into why I can't kick him out later because yeah that's part of this podcast. Uh, again, I'll reference uh, "Trucking" by Grateful Dead. <laughs> what a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> trucking, trucking, we're trucking. Um, so this week on we'll figure it out. What are we figuring out? Uh, how to get life back to normal. I think. How to not do life as a muddle puddle? <laughs> yep, basically. <laughs> if you want to put it in your podcast version. <laughs> yeah. Our vi- podcast version of our life is our life is a muddle puddle. Oh, yes. Spudley, you cannot lay on my lap while we're podcasting. Jeez. Wait, does that mean if we have nothing to figure out, the podcast officially ends? <laughs> I mean, do you think that there's ever a, Do you think there's ever going to be a day where we have nothing to figure out? We will always be Okay, trying unless to it's 3 out. Unless it's the year 3000, no. Mm. You think at, at the year 3000 everybody's going to have everything figured out? I mean, I've, there might be robots to do everything for you, I, so yeah. I would imagine <laughs> that I won't be around to see it. I imagine I will not be there. Same either. here. <laughs> Or will I? Dun, what dun. are you? What do you want, Spudley? <laughs> no, go oh, lay down. I know what he wants. He wants to go. No, go lay down. I don't know what his problem is with this podcasting, but he doesn't like it. He did lick. He doesn't like me, me as a the... sound engineer. <laughs> <laughs> he licked you because he was like. But she's the sound engineer. What? No, I was talking and he licked me in my mouth. It was gross. Mm. Yeah. I need some water. Hold on. 
So yeah, this week we are going to go through why our life is a muddle fuddle. Oh, dogs. Can y'all just chill? Go find a bone. There's 15. There's 15 of them in the living room. Cash. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Those two right there is a, a portion of the metal fuddle. Yeah. <laughs> go get a, Go get them each a bone from in the living room and give it to them. <laughs> he's, laying, he's upside down. <laughs> he's laying on his back trying to eat Spudley's face. Noah, can you go get them each a bone? Cashmere, lay down. There you go. Now we can have bone eating sounds in the background. Yes. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Better than a dog barking every day. True. <laughs> so apologize for the crunchy sounds. Let's try not to laugh too much in this podcast. Oh my gosh. Spit off. <laughs> gonna... Y'all at home can laugh, but no laughing hazard at this house. It's the no laughing podcast challenge. <laughs> Try you not lost. to laugh. Podcasters only edition. <laughs> um, maybe if I just don't laugh loud, I can do. I can do my quiet movie laugh. <laughs> how do you? How do you whisper when you laugh? That doesn't make sense. I said quiet laugh. I didn't I know, say whisper I know. laugh. Whisper laugh. It's quiet a whisper laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so hard for me. I'm such a loud laugher. <laughs> um, put a put a ten layer thick mask over your face. That should help. <laughs> and then my my words would sound like. Same thing. Wow 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 Is that a song reference? No, that's at reference. this point I think everything you say is a song. It's reference It's a peanuts now. reference. Charlie Brown, Peanuts, and this. Whenever somebody's on the phone, it's always wah 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 wah. Or any adult that's speaking. Oh, that's right. Adults are wah 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 wah. So anyway. Movie reference. Yeah, we have those two in the podcast. Yes. All right. So, a rundown of our model fuddle. A bit loud. That's right. We're rundown. (laughs) <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so loud, them chewing on them bones. Can you hear that in your headphones? <laughs> so, what right. we have going on this week that's a muddle fuddle is, is the podcast. almost literally mud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dirt. Dirt. We, um... We are getting our fins fixed from Hurricane Ida, which if y'all are not aware, we were in the zone of the damaged area. Yes, so we are now currently experiencing a Garth Brooks album, which is No Fences. (laughs) We have No Fences, which means that we can't let the dogs out without leashes. And right now we can't even let them in the backyard because it's full of sand because we needed to fill our yard because we live in an area where subsidence is a thing and sinking yards. So we had one dump truck that was put into the backyard and we have one dump truck full of sand that's in our driveway right now, which they are going to put underneath the house because there's so much subsidence underneath the house. That we need to fill that. And I have a feeling we're going to have to get a third dump truck just to finish filling the rest of the yard. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Um, So, it's like the never-ending sand pit. Which makes me want to... That really makes me want to finish the fence at the other house. Mm Mm-hmm. And go live there until we have grass. <laughs> uh, what about well, me in school? You always have to get up really yeah, early. you just have to ride down with me. I mean, it's only an hour drive. Uh-huh. You just live here with Jeremy, and I'll live up there with, with Jonathan. You, Jeremy, and Sam can live here, and I'll live up there with Jonathan. And the dogs. And the dogs. <laughs> Ugh. 
It'd be like having two houses again. Do you remember when we did that? Wait, we do have two houses. <laughs> yeah, but it's we live we we <laughs> we weren't living in both houses full time either. And not everybody was living in my tiny house when we had my tiny house. We would just visit it. <laughs> no, I don't remember. You don't remember like sleeping at the house on the other street. I'm not going to name it, the tiny house and then go into Jeremy's house after we got married and sleep in there for a couple of nights. Yeah. We going would, back and forth. We would go. Yeah. We would go to my house on the weekends. Right, your house on the weekends, and then I had school. Everybody had school. Mm-hmm. At that point, everybody was in school. Right. And then, um, when Jordan stayed with you, didn't you stay at your house with him mm-hmm. some nights? Or no, he yeah. stayed with us. He stayed with us. Yeah. At, the, the original plan was that. We would have some nights where we would be, or Jordan and I would be at my house. Right. But that never wound up panning out. We just were always, during the week, at your house. Yeah. <laughs> um. So anyway, we've got the whole yard being filled. Under the house is going to get filled. And then we're going to have them create a patio out of some of the papers that we have. They have to still do the awning too, huh? Yeah, eventually. Oh, that's eventually thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna depend on how much it costs, and you know if we mm-hmm. can get that covered through insurance. Right. Did you talk to him about doing an estimate for it? Uh, like twice. Oh. Okay. So I mean, I guess we're gonna have to talk to him about it again. I guess when he's back here again, I'll wrangle him and be like, "Hey, we need that estimate for the awning so we can get the check for you." Yeah, so we can, <laughs> we can submit that for a supplement. And right, and then because it's going to take a while for us to get the money from it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to have to be sent to us and then sent back to the mortgage, mortgage company. company again and then sent back to us, and it's going to be three weeks before we have the money. Yeah, it's an ordeal. We did get our roof fixed, though. We have yeah. a new roof. So... That that's was, a plus. That was last week or a week before last. Yeah, week. I think it was two weeks ago, babe. I don't know. All the days are running in to- together. Welcome it, to the recovery from Ida team. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody's life right now is a roof, a fence, or both. Yeah, it was last week. It was I beginning meant to say last train, week. Train, but it's oh, okay. team. It's okay. <laughs> we're we're a team here. <laughs> <laughs> What else we got going on with Ida? We do need to talk to the roof guy. He said that he was going to fix the fascia, but he didn't do it when he did the roof. So we need to ask him when that's going to happen. I'm trying to remember. I don't, I personally don't remember talking. I don't think I even saw him. No, you didn't. He came and he talked to me. Yeah. And then I had asked him about the fascia and he said, yeah, he can get a big old roll of it and he would do ours too. Because he has to do his. Okay. So, I just need you to touch base okay, with him. Okay, the, the fascia along the... Side of the house. The upper... Uh-huh. Roof left line. side roof line. Uh-huh. Ridge. Okay. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. What is your problem, Cashmere? Let me call Johnny and tell him to come get his dog. So, we got the roof. We're getting the yard taken care of. We're getting the fence taken care of. We're going to have to contact the roof guy about the fascia. And then... Is there anything else that we need to do post her? The we got to wait on the whole awning thing, right? And then we tore down one shed, or we had the guys tear down a shed. Yeah. And we are going. Are we going to replace that? Uh, possibly. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, the thing is, is that I know once we get the other ominous project, the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom that's finished been on it's old. gonna it's gonna get rid of a decent amount of space in the garage yeah uh i know some of our stuff is gonna be going up to the other house far far away mm-hmm. well not far far away it's only far away it's an hour drive so that's just far we can sell the double sink we have in the garage and yeah, that's gonna go to the other house because one of the sinks in our bathroom is cracked so we're gonna uh... use it there yeah I know, it's been sitting there for, I don't know, four years? Yeah. It was right after we moved in here, and that's when 
Stacy and Clay gave it to us. <laughs> and we're going to finally use it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> So, our secondary model fuddle, which is the second house, we have lots of projects going on over there. Still trying to clean up from Ida, because there's so many branches that fell from the trees. Perfect for bonfires! Which we've been having a lot of fires when we go up there. So, trying to burn a stump. <laughs> That's yeah. been fun. Well, we've got it nice and charred. We do. <laughs> the bark has officially burnt off cardboard oh my gosh when when you have to buy so many things for a new house they all come in cardboard packaging and then you have a plethora of cardboard packaging yeah we've probably got we, we've probably burned through about 300 pounds of cardboard and we probably still have another <laughs> 600 pounds left it's insane it's literally insane. it's insane so um yeah we got lots of fire starter yeah and we got we got a lot of stuff done last weekend. I mean, significant. We you got the fans up in the house, yeah. the ceiling fans. Mine is the coolest. It is pretty cool. I'll have to get a picture of it next time we're up there, and uh, post it on Instagram. It's a really neat one. Mhm. Mm and it was mis it was mispriced, so we got it for really cheap. I think it was Yay. ours that was mispriced. Wait. No, it was his. No. No, it was ours. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It was yours. Whatever. It was about like twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. The the hanging one had I think sixty nine dollars on it, and the one that we picked up, they rang it up as eighty nine, but we took pictures of the <laughs> hang tag. <laughs> I was like, wait, that price is cheaper. Let me take a picture and show it to them. <laughs> with the price, with the. The item number. I'm like, this is the same item number, and it is priced differently uh, hanging up. Fans somebody, don't, Fans don't seem as expensive as other furniture. Um, some of them fans were two, three, four hundred dollars a a pop. You can you can find some ceiling fans that you know run close to the grand range. Actually, even more than that. Yeah. You start to go into some high end stores. Yeah, that's yeah. Just... That's why we go to Lowe's. <laughs> yeah. And we get our military discount. Speaking of military discounts, happy Veterans Day, because we are recording on Thursday, Veterans Day. So to all those that have served in the past, we appreciate you and thank you for your service. Thank you, honey. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you. For those who don't know, I am a U.S. Air Force veteran. And that was a door slamming. Yes. And that's and Spud that's barking. barking. Yep. It's mm. Barky McBarkface. <sighs> Let's pause this while we wait for him. We'll be right back after we figure out how to do the ad again. How do we do that? <clears throat> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. We yes. were never live in the first place. We're dead? No, no. <laughs> this isn't live. <laughs> Huh. So, let's see. So we were talked about the knocking down the shed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so removal of the shed. Uh huh. And all the other projects and everything. We were we moved on to the second house. Yes, we moved on to the second house. But can I back up just a little bit? Just beep, just beep beep. Caution, beep. backing up. Wait. Caution, backing beep. up. Beep 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 beep. Okay. So, we may or may not have referenced in previous podcasts about how everything seems to pivot on getting stuff done in the garage. <laughs> I think we have several <laughs> times. So, we're back to square one again. Uh, so, a few years back, we said we really need to get a shed so we can clear out some of the stuff out of the garage. So, we got the shed. We cleared out a whole bunch of stuff out of the garage. And the garage was still a matter of contention. <laughs> we didn't so, buy a big enough shed that was the problem right and so fast forward a couple of years to hurricane ida doing some demolition in the yard and me realizing that this this shed uh which we stored pool chemicals in for a while um uh, 
is starting to rust and corrode. And then when I went to go move something else out of the shed, found that the floor on the shed was actually starting to cave in. And so we had to make the decision to demolish said shed. Y'all never told me about the caving in on of the floor. No, that was discovered when he was taking stuff out of it. Yeah. So with the corrosion and rust damage to it, and the floor, we kind of deemed that it's not gonna make it to move it to the other side of the other side of the yard once we had the yard leveled. So we decided to go ahead and have it demolished. In order to demolish it, we had to empty it. Mm-hmm. So the contents of said shed was moved once again to the garage. Into the garage, which does not have the room to store the stuff in the shed and the trailer. And the <laughs> and the parts to the bathroom, and basically the everything to the house, and all of the tools for the mechanic. And so, once again, getting anything done is now contingent again <laughs> on the stinking garage. So we need to come up with a book that's the 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 same vein as if you give a. Mouse a cookie, <laughs> give a pig a pancake, <laughs> throw a pig a party. If, is... you, give, if you give Jeremy a garage. <laughs> <laughs> if you give Jeremy a garage, that's a good one. I was going to say, it circles back to the garage. <laughs> if you give a mechanic a garage, illustrated by blank, narrator. Have you ever seen me work on a car in that garage? Nope. Uh, Did, wait, once, once, yeah. once. When we first moved in and we didn't have anything in it. I didn't work on the car in the garage. I thought you did. No, I had parked the wagon in the garage while we were unloading stuff. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's funny. I've seen you have a car in the garage. Just once. maybe not. Work on it. Work on it. Once. Yeah. <laughs> So that would have been in uh, May of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the last time that the garage could hold a car. <laughs> it has held the trailer on it twice, though. Yeah. Trailer in it twice. Yep. What? Yes, because we just decided to put a trailer on a slanted roof as a danger hazard and. We clearly wanted Jeremy to get killed by the trailer t- falling on him. On the garage, yeah. Yep. That's why we wouldn't put it on the garage. It would put it in the garage. Yeah. So. Well, it was on the garage floor. So, what do you have currently on the trailer that is actually going to the other house? Um, the trailer. You have the trailer <laughs> on the trailer that's going to the other house. Since when did we have two trailers? <laughs> I don't. Well, well, technically, the other one's not a trailer. It's just a cart that we hooked up to the back of the lawnmower. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what? there's nothing on the trailer at this moment that is actually going to the other house? Not that I can think. It was pretty much emptying out the shed. I put stuff on the trailer, and I don't remember if anything on there is actually going to the other house. Oh, I think one of the, the hanging pots. Oh, okay. I, we have that hanging pot and Colin's hanging pot. Oh, did you text Colin to see if he wanted his I hanging pot? I did not. You should text your son to see if he wants his belongings that he stored at our house. Yes. He will respond to me because I know that one of my other children will not. Honey, why do you have to say that? <laughs> it's just being a smart aleck. Yeah. <laughs> we all know this. You don't have to say it. One of your children doesn't get any text and can't send text because his service is so bad. He texted me today. Did he? Yeah. Which one? That one? The one that's like nine hours away? No, the one that's five hours away. The one that's five hours away. The one that's in college that of the Evan variety. So, anyway. We have really not stopped since COVID. We, I mean, we were very stopped during covid except for the fact that we were actually still working on the bathroom during covid we're trying to 
Yeah. Very painstakingly and slowly, we were still getting stuff done in the bathroom as we were sick. I painted the bathroom when I was sick with COVID. And the last time the bathroom got worked on was during COVID. Yep. Because a week later, we evacuated for two weeks. That was in August, right? Yep. And hey, despite you being, you know, not in school for like the first month of school. I still got straight A's. Yep. Did good. None of your teachers were worried, apparently. <laughs> they weren't? No, they weren't worried that you would catch on and catch up. So, that's good. They had confidence. You said they weren't worried they, that I'd catch up. So, they were... They were not worried <laughs> that you would catch up. They weren't worried that you... Wouldn't catch Wouldn't up. catch up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> anyway... Okay. Wait, Brain are you still talking not about blushing. Haynes ketchup? Ha ha. Ha ha. It's Heinz. It's not Haynes. Haynes is your underwear. The more you know. <laughs> so back to where we were. I backed up to go talk about the rounding back to the garage thing. and we The ring around the garage? Yes. Now we can go on and talk about the other house. So do you want to put things on the trailer to bring it up. Oh, I need to call my mom and dad and ask if the furniture's ready. Right, because that's the biggest thing that we need to worry about on the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> so, if if the furniture's not going to be ready this weekend, it's already Thursday, and we both work on Saturday, so we're not going up until Sunday. Do you want to bring anything up there on the trailer, or do you need to put the hitch on my vehicle first? I do need to put the the hitch thing on your vehicle which i would have done within the last day or two but we don't have a driveway right now oh yeah that's the other thing <laughs> can you bring it to work and work on it after hours i could but i i don't i mean it, that's only if my lift is free oh. i wish i've got back to back to back engines i've got to get done gotcha so so not likely Gotcha. Right. I mean, I can do it in the street. <laughs> we could probably ask Miss Priscilla if we could borrow her driveway for a couple hours. Our next door neighbor, she's really nice. Uh, I mean, theoretically, if they, they come here and do the work tomorrow, tomorrow evening, the driveway oh, should be cleared up enough. You're right. You're right. I'm just going to be rolling around in sand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of leftover sand. But we have some cardboard I might be able to lay down somewhere around here. <laughs> you think we might have a little bit of cardboard? That was a loud difference. <laughs> it's because my voice is loud. No, no, no. It, uh, that was from Jeremy. Cause it's because uh, I got was, closer to the mic. Yeah, he was like this. Uh, and then he went like this. Uh, I gotcha. So, you thinking you're going to do that? Tomorrow's Friday, right? That's, yeah. All right. So, you think you are going to do that? tomorrow Possibly. i will text my mom when we are finished with podcasting to see if they have the furniture the funny thing about furniture is now that we've bought so much and i think we did talk about mm -hmm. this in our last podcast is everybody keeps offering us furniture even though we already got furniture <laughs> oh and and a riding lawnmower apparently we were offered too and we bought a brand new one wait <laughs> Well, we were, he, he was offering to sell it to us, and it would have been, you know, cheaper than us buying the new one, but I'd still have to get it running, yeah. is the thing. Yeah, which uh, we don't even have time to, like, you know, cook dinner or fix nights. our own vehicles, no. much less, you uh, know. Yeah, I understand. That's why we bought a new one, because we didn't want a project one that needed to be fixed, because we don't have time to fix anything. And we desperately needed to cut our grass when we moved over there. Well, not when we moved over there, but after we bought it. Because yeah. we haven't officially moved over there. Yeah. Let's say like this. If we would have waited another two weeks to try and cut the grass, we would have had to hire somebody out with heavy equipment. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it was really touch and go there with that riding lawnmower. <laughs> that, that, we, we definitely put that thing through some testing. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. We're not moving there for another supposed three years. When I'm out of eighth grade, maybe. Correct. Correct. That yeah, is the plan. Yeah. But, you know, our Shush. what we need to do is we need to call it our, like, 12-year plan. 
Okay, 12-year plan, because then go. we'll actually do it in three. There you go. 12-year plan that turns into a one-year plan on the third year. No, no. You see, our five-year plan, when we first met and got <laughs> together and we're discussing everything, our five-year plan, we're not even supposed to be married yet. Nope. We weren't going to get married until it was five years in. Wow. And yeah. then it was five months Yep. And we got engaged. Or no, we got married in five months? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Five months. Our five-year plan went to five months. Both of us were a little scared of the commitment after our previous relationships. <laughs> yeah, as you could tell. <laughs> Noah's <laughs> eyes are bugging out like, what? <laughs> a cautionary tale. Yeah, so we're, we're well known for our... Our extended plans becoming immediate. We're very patient people. Except for some things. <laughs> Until we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can wait forever, we think. And then we can. So this is why interrupting somebody with ADHD is not a good idea. Because then completely loss of... Can you please stop twirling around in that chair? You're going to knock it all over. All right. So I have no idea where we are. We we were. I can't speak either. <laughs> so I think we should just move on to what our plans are for this weekend. And this time they're not drunk. For the <laughs> second week in a row. No, wow. we're, we're, we're only exhausted. Yeah. We're sleep drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so the last two weeks I've been struggling with working my hours because I've started a new PT, OT, physical therapy, occupational therapy program, and all of my pain flared up, and I had to get back on all of my medicine because I was in so much pain, I couldn't even sit and work for an hour at a time. It was really rough. But we changed the treatment plan this week. We did a few things to help out, and I'm feeling a lot better. So I was able to get in quite a few hours in a row. The last couple of days and it was good yeah so that's also been like my struggle the last couple of weeks is you know just barely being able to function and now i have this stupid head cold so that's sam's fault um so a head cold is when your head is cold <laughs> is, it, is it a weird brain freeze <laughs> <laughs> not quite <laughs> no it's when you have congestion in your sinuses it's a head cold and not like a throat cold or a lung cold. It's a head cold. I don't know. I don't know why we call it a head cold. Or a foot cold. <laughs> Pretty sure your sinuses are like the complete opposite side place of your toes. Yes, it is. Mm. A, your sinuses are in your head. Yeah, it's all in your head, hon. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> To get that one part where we go off topic, technically, when you are measuring yourself, shouldn't you tippy toe? Because wouldn't that be measuring your full length? No. <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about that, then you'd have to also <laughs> stretch your arms up really tall, and then that would be your full length. Exactly. Yeah. So you're not saying your real height when you say your height. Air quotes that y'all can't see because this is a podcast, not a video. I don't think you'd want to count being on tippy toes as your actual height because nobody walks around on a regular basis on their tippy toes. It would be very painful. I know I cannot. I can't even. I can't even get on my tippy toes. It, it would hurt me so badly. There are some people in this world that do walk on their tippy toes, but it's because of a congenital malformation of their feet or tight Achilles heels. And for people who don't understand medical terms, what would it mean? Your, your Achilles tendon. I they, said for people who don't understand medical terms. What's a tendon? Okay, so the visual of it. That part. <laughs> the back of your heel. You know, the Achilles heel. Tendon, tendons and ligaments are what attach your muscles to your bones. So, when somebody has a tight tendon, it can affect the way that they are able to walk in their heel, when it's in their heel. We are at 39 minutes and 55 seconds. Do we want to have a short podcast this week? 
We can. I mean. Yeah, we don't have a whole. I mean, <laughs> we have a whole lot, but a whole lot that we don't need to get into. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. So you're trying not to pick fights around here? <laughs> have I ever been known to try to pick a fight? <laughs> no, as in, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that's involved that we don't need to. No, go into great detail because yeah. we just bore our, our podcast listeners. I mean, it bores me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so. In all of this, we do have to refigure our finances, and we are going to have to go through our budget again. So, if you are interested in seeing what we do, or hearing what we do, I should say, to accommodate for a second house in our budget, and how we're changing things around, and all of the new debts we have, because we bought furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've had to move lots of money here and there and everywhere, and it's kind of like we're bleeding out of every orifice when it comes to, you know, spending money. For people who don't understand y'all's language, what does orifice mean? Opening. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, out of every opening, we are pouring money. Yes. We are hemorrhaging money. We are. <laughs> yeah. So, and we have some new bills that we have to incorporate into our budget. And I have some things I need to talk to Jeremy about possibly adding to our budget. But I might leave that to the podcast when we do go over our budgets. So I can get a raw response for y'all to my ideas. And by raw, what she means is that if I'm being recorded, I'm going to play nice. <laughs> you're never not nice when you're not recorded. <laughs> I might have to record it with a video to get the true response because it's just going to be facial that look. Expressions. It's, it's mostly facial expressions. facial expressions. You're right. It's, he gives me, remember, I told you that he gives me that look. <laughs> the what what are you thinking here look uh-huh. what, <laughs> which which tree are we picking these bills off of what mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man my ideas aren't that crazy that money tree got blown down in ida next <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have any trees that fell in ida we didn't own the property that had a tree that fell on it yet yet <laughs> keyword yet, yet. <laughs> so all right well we really hope that you enjoyed this muddle fuddle of a podcast because that's what our life is right now it's one rapid succession of decisions after another and it can get very overwhelming and especially like The timing of when we closed, like we talked about in our last episode of the podcast, if you haven't listened to that, I highly encourage you to go back and listen to that because it's real life, folks, when the timing of things does not work out great. We had a family medical emergency and we closed a couple days later on our house and then I had to make decisions Still dealing with the medical emergency and the aftercare of the medical emergency. I had to make decisions about furniture and stuff. And that was interesting, to say the least. To try and make decisions in... Under duress. Yeah, pretty much under duress and exhaustion. Which I guess guess we really could have put that off. But it was like, we kind of have the time right now, so let's do it. I don't know, it was weird. Yeah. Well, we thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you will join us in our next podcast. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Uh, I'm done. Gosh, this editing is going to be a nightmare now. (laughs) Um, You have to say it now? Oh, yeah. I guess I'm done, too. Well, before I say blank and blank, uh... We'll be right back after we figure out how to make the intro. What? You'll listen to us on the next podcast when we remember how to do the intro. Wait, seriously, how did we do it again? 
the intro or the outro? <laughs> the intro. The intro no, is at the no, beginning. Th- I said a new podcast. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense for ending it. I know. That's totally... It's a muddle funnel podcast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Noah, you've completely muddle fuddled me. <laughs> Luckily, I've been done for a few minutes. <laughs> I'm done. Thank you for making it a muddle funnel and then ending it. Thanks. Thanks. Anyway... Thank you for joining us on this podcast. We hope that you will join us and Spudley in the next podcast when we'll figure it out.